can't simply throw rubbish any way you like. It will cause pollution. Relax. It is just a piece of rubbish. What harm can it do? How can you be so casual about it? Pollution is a very serious problem on Earth. If you do not do your part in taking care of our planet, soon there will not be a planet for us to live on. No, what is that? It's a bird. It's a tree. No, it's UFO. Nietzsche is right. If you do not do your part in taking care of planet Earth, soon there will be not a planet for you to live on. Who, who, who are you? Do not be scared. I am a friend from outer space. We come from a system beyond your solar system. We have come in peace. How do you know of our existence? Ever since Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins landed on the moon on 21st July 1969. We have been observing planet Earth. I must say that your planet is very beautiful, rich with resources and biodiversity. Thank you. But I do not think that planet Earth will be as beautiful as it is in a few decades time. Pollution is getting worse. Our planet is very sick. This is why we have come to planet Earth. We have come to warn you of the future if you do not start taking care of Earth now. Let me show you something. Welcome to the Andromeda Galaxy. Wow, this is beautiful. Planet Earth is located in the Milky Way Galaxy. The Andromeda Galaxy is our nearest sister galaxy. This is amazing. Maybe human can consider living in this galaxy once planet Earth is destroyed by pollution. I'm afraid that is not possible. The Andromeda Galaxy is very far away from the Milky Way Galaxy. It is simply not possible to travel to this distant galaxy. If that is so, then why are you showing us this beautiful galaxy? Because there is a lesson that I would like you to learn. The Andromeda Galaxy once contained life. However, the inhabitants there were very careless with their environment. They exhausted all their natural resources and polluted their environment until they could no longer live on their own planet. Did they travel into space to find another suitable place to live? I'm afraid they never got the chance. They did not have the technology for space travel. Therefore, the inhabitants there died along with the planet. That is very sad. I think we humans should learn from this. If not, we might just end up like them. Children, you must understand that all resources are limited. If you use them carelessly, you will end up destroying your own planet. At the rate that planet Earth is being polluted, I think it is time for us to start looking for another home in outer space. Can you bring us back to the Milky Way galaxy? Very well then. Which planet should we check out first? No, no. Not Mercury or Venus. They are too near the Sun. Venus has a surface temperature of 400 degrees Celsius. Nothing could survive in that kind of temperature. You are right. Let's take a look at Mars then. Hmm. The atmosphere of Mars is made up of many carbon dioxide. Human needs oxygen to survive. I guess we cannot stay on Mars either. Let's take a look at the other planets, shall we? Jupiter is the biggest planet in our solar system. Imagine the space we can have if we stay here. But we cannot land on Jupiter and Saturn. These two planets are made up of hydrogen and helium. Humans cannot live on gaseous planets. Oh no! I think we cannot live on Uranus and Neptune either. They are too far away from the sun, making them too cold for humans to survive. Furthermore, they are also made up of gases. You are right. but. Do not be disappointed. I know just the right place for humans to live in.
Look, this is where humans will survive. This is Earth. It is polluted and dying. The water is polluted. Global warming is increasingly serious, and the ozone layer is damaged. We cannot stay there for long. The biosphere of Earth is the most suitable place for humans to live in. If humans take care of their planet well, I am sure they can survive on the planet for a long time. Yes, all of us must do our part to save Mother Earth. We must plant more trees and preserve our Earth's rich biodiversity. Besides, we must learn to reduce, reuse, and recycle. And that includes not throwing rubbish on the floor. I am sorry for not throwing away my rubbish properly. Thanks to our kind friends in space, I have learned a valuable lesson. The universe may be vast and infinite, but we only have one planet to live on. That is Earth. We must take better care of it, or we will lose it forever. Now that is the spirit. I'm glad that you are working towards making the Earth a better place. One small step for two children. One giant leap for the future of mankind indeed.